Hi guys, this is Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. And this time we're talking about Byther Smith. He just recently passed and it made me really sad. He was a great blues artist. Really powerful guitar player, simple guitar player, but really powerful guitar player who put everything in the right place. And a really uh, ferocious singer who was just like a perfect blues singer in his own way he's like a perfect blues man and um, he had so much a uh, fierceness and authority the way he played he did and he played with uh, Otis Rush he learned guitar kind of from JB Lenore and others he came to Chicago in the 50s and he really didn't sort of come out of his shell a little bit till the till I, I guess the uh, 80s maybe late 70s although he had been a sideman with Junior Wells and things like that and uh, just a very powerful player and he's great for intermediate and beginner guitar players to learn sort of how to get around in some of these basic areas like let's say you're in um, B flat like he has a song called Live On and Sing the Blues a really powerful one where he goes He has a lot of repetition to his phrases which help you like understand what's going on and you hear how it sounds over the different chord changes. And it has a lot of impact. He always does that a lot. That's um ninth fret and then then the ninth fret on the G string and then 6th fret on the B string. But there's two of my favorite songs by Bother Smith that I really want to talk about. Um, one is his most famous song, Money Tree, and the other is, it's called Tell Me How You Like It, and these are off my favorite Bother records. Um, one is Tell Me How You Like It, and the other is Big Bad Smitty. And Tell Me How You Like It got reissued by Delmark on Hold That Train. But, you know, he didn't ever make a bad record. Uh, his 45s are great. Um, definitely check check them out, and uh, I think you'll be happy you did. So let's start with Money Tree, and you know I was talking with a, a friend of mine uh, years back when we were watching him because I uh, um, I would go off and we'd go to uh, see it. It was Dave Waldman. We'd go to see him at a tip on in 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 uh, Blue Island, and he was really kind of the king of the blues there. And uh, and uh, I was saying that that uh, his songs are really kind of a function of like he's working out his emotional problems in his songs you know so it takes you on this journey um, you know it's like an emotional ritual it was really cathartic the way he played so the the bass line on this song is kind of like why kind of like why I sing the blues so and I, and he plays the bass line at the very beginning of the song he sets it up perfect it's in C sharp okay so So that's your basic bass line, it's just... Just all down strokes. And this is the root and seventh. Minor third. So it's on the, it's all around the 11th and 9th fret. down to the four C sharp F sharp minor that's G G sharp same pattern just F sharp and then back to C sharp so it's the same pattern right if you were a bass There's a lot of songs like this, like High Cost of Loving is similar. And then there's a cool rhythm guitar part that you hear. That's not by their Smith playing that. And that's uh, 9 and 11. But anyway, that's the basic skeleton of the song. And um, 
you know, what matters is what he puts into it. And again, this is great for beginners, really simple. It's not that hard to find these notes. They're pretty much out of here. Stuff that I'm going to assume most of you guys know or hear. That's it for this song and for a lot of his songs. You know, sometimes he'll go like that, you know, like, but mostly he's really meat and potatoes. But, um, you know, it's where he puts it. It's, it's not what you do, it's the way how you do it. And, like, where he always puts it in the most deadly place for the biggest impact. So now I'm just going to play Money Tree. Dig this. All right, I'm going to play that again real slow. And if you get one thing from the lesson, it's the way he did that right at, right at that point. So I'm using my third finger on the 14th fret. You could even jazz it up and use it. You can throw in major thirds here and there, but it's not really in the song. So let's try it again real slow. One, two, three. Then a hammer on. I mean, a... see how that's just part of your C sharp chord? It's very BB ish. You know, again, he's not reinventing the wheel, he's just doing it in his own. He's putting his stamp on it, though. Move your hand. Now you're on the 14th fret with your third finger. So this is on the one da 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 do 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 da 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 four do 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 one do 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 ba 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 do 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 ba 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 Crazy about you, baby, doing this thing that's well for you. And so on. So then he's off and running, right? I just sang the solo because I don't have my looper with me right now. And um, I wanted you to see where it goes. And if you can sing the solo, believe me, that'll help you memorize it. So now I'm going to talk about his solo, which is almost the same. It goes... Something really similar to that. This is another super BBism, and this is like a total building block of, of what Byler Smith does, like in any situation, practically. That's the thing about the guitar. You can play the same note in different places, and it sounds different, right? That sounds fine, but this sounds a little different, doesn't it? And I move, 14th fret, B string. And then you're here, just bounce it. You can do a whole solo this way. And then here's his leg. That's like a real period, right? Now that was smoking, right? And it was easy. So I love that. So let's talk about another one of my favorite songs by Byler Smith called Tell Me How You Like It. Tell me how you like it, Mama. I want it to be good to you, man. He really was a strong, macho guy, you know? This was in F sharp, and he actually sounds even a bit like Magic Slim 
on this kind of or not really like he's they're just very coming from the same place it's a real mississippi electric guitar place so it's like make it bounce like the way JB Lenore's lumps bounce you know try to make it bounce a little bit you're probably wondering what all that is second fret fourth fret second fret on E and D strings if you can do this you can use your thumb if you want if you want. Now here's the great turn. Yeah, tell me how you like it, mama. It's very much like uh, Robert Bilbo Walker, this. I mean, you can't get more of the basic skeleton of the blues, but really, that's all you need, man. So... And then, you know, he, I mentioned that he played with Otis Rush, I think. Um, this is kind of like Three Times a Fool. And he does this, right? This is kind of out of a D minor shape. I call it a D. It's an F sharp. Whatever your root is, is on the B string. So your third finger is on the F sharp. Seventh fret. There you go. But it's the old sh I like to relate things back to the old shapes that you learned originally like a D minor or an A minor or what have you. So make it bounce. And then on the four, he goes or something really similar to that. Which is very much like Otis Rush, so. Or just this. It's just bending with the on the uh, 16th fret here. And then your roots here in the 14th fret. Yeah! And then later on he takes another solo like this. You know, and that's a little bit of like the Junior Wells, right? It's a little bit of that song, uh, Little by Little, right? Junior Wells. So, and then he goes. It's the way he ends his notes. Everything has a really definite period to it. I mean, there's nothing unresolved about what he did. Although I like in Money Tree where he ends on the high note. But that's like just ending like... And then it sets up for that powerful vocal entry. So he's always setting himself up for something with even more impact, kind of. Or he's really like wrapping it up like, that's what I said. You know, don't make me say it again. <laughs> so, you know, like that. So, you know, I just love Byther Smith and I'm going to miss him. He's real like, they don't come like that no more. And enjoy playing this. I think it's really useful any for any um, any blues guitar player especially for people who are trying to figure out where things go and um, and get and learn something that's not so complicated but um you know by the Smith you're really gonna be missed and uh, please guys and girls if you have some memories of either Smith uh, I mean I saw him like probably 10 or 15 times over the years and I wish it had been more and if you have some memories of Byther Smith working with Byther Smith I know we played in Europe a lot you know, we played around Chicago a whole lot. And just post them on this uh, little lesson. And uh, thank you.
Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel for looks at the blues guitar greats and have a great one. Hey.